Hi, um, welcome back to my uh, vSphere project. Um, this is the continuation of um, the last segment, which is uh, about DRS. Um, this is about B app. To be able to have B app, we need to have DRS first. And one of the definition of DRS is uh, a logical entity comprising of one or one or more virtual machines. So um, when I first heard about BF, and especially when I was uh, reviewing <laughs> the the exam, I thought BF is about virtual application. Um, you know the one that you can uh, download from uh, vendors that uh, you know this they have a virtual application or virtual OS designed for a particular purpose say a firewall or or or, or uh, an email an open source email you can just download this and and try to run it and even um, often filer have a, a virtual application but I was wrong the, the to enable a B app is uh, when you uh, click uh, right click the the cluster this will be enabled as I said if you have a DRS enabled um, we need to put a name so uh, we will say group 1 um, let me er el elaborate the definition uh, I mean the B app the B app um, one thing uh, good to know about B app is that um, you can create a resources We'll put the default for now. And what good with B app is that um, you can uh, you can put a group of server and say uh, let's create another um, resources say group two. and we can put another set of BMs and in that case um, when you want to start up or shut down shut all the BMs you can just do it in one click so power on this will power on the two server on that group so that is the benefit and Another one thing for the creation of B app is that this is they say uh, you know the cloud computing. I, I I don't know yet about what is really about cloud computing, but this is uh, the reason that this was created. It's for the cloud computing. Um, I could say. Uh, it's starting the first entry on the server because on the group one we started it first and it's only starting DB server it's supposed to start the second server as well and also in group two it started first the Red Hat because it's R and W is the the last one <laughs> this is probably slow because of my uh, nested application yeah you know trying to 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 start all this uh, uh, this server on one uh, desktop sharing sharing uh, lots of uh, processing. Oops! So you, you see that the server one is now is also running now. So this is uh, although you can start the the B app, it will start by a sequence. So one after another, I guess. Now all four BMs are started. And one more thing about uh, B app, although you can group the server, um, it doesn't need to be in one host. As you can see, DB server is uh, on ESX1, but server one is on ESX2. So it's regardless of host when you uh, create a B app. Um, I think this will conclude my uh, video for, for this B app. 
So the first requirement on BAP is of course DRS, DRS first and then um, you can you can you can create all this uh, group server you can start them actually I, I, I will add uh, how if how, how do they stop together so I'm posting this one on the background for now so uh, group one is fully started while well, group two is still uh, finishing it okay they are all up now um, by the way before uh, we end this um, session someone asked me on the email that uh, what's the difference between HA and DRS well as I said um, um, H HA have uh, it will restart the BM a quick restart actually it's not a regular uh, boot up actually it's quick as I said it's uh, there's a minimal downtime um, but DRS moves the it's like it's like B motion, but there's still a difference between B uh, B motion and DRS because DRS is the one who distribute the 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 load. Unlike HA, actually HA, what is available on the on the system, he just do it by random. If he if he see the ESX2 is is uh, is still have uh, enough capacity to run it, he will just he will just dump it there, and also and he will put it on an ESX3 now th there's a problem of course if the one of the BM or two BMs or more BMs have a high uh, CPU hog then there will be a problem so that's the purpose of DRS then to distribute the uh, the, the load so those are the differences between HA DRS and uh, and B motion B motion is uh, you control it and, and and the main purpose of, of B motion is say um, you want you, you want to upgrade ESX1 so what you will do is of course uh, B motion the SI will B motion all these BMs and distribute it to ESX2 and ESX3 that was manual okay let's uh, try to stop now the group one so that we will end this uh, session so it's just say uh, you want to confirm yes and it says here stop B up for the seven percent. Stopping this time is is, is faster. Probably the first time uh, we run this one was probably um, longer. Um, my next video is uh, fault tolerance. I don't know if fault tolerance will run because uh, my desktop is not capable of re really running um, the fault tolerance. But they said you can tweak it. You can fake it.